Okay, I've got a totally new and free DaVinci Resolve tool for you today. This is really a must have for every editor and I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't want to use it. Are you tired of wasting time setting up projects, importing media, creating files, getting everything organized and ready to go every single time you create a video? What if you could do all that with just one click? Okay, the new free Spark Templates application does all this for you, keeping your files organized and consistent, saving you time and getting you started editing faster. If you're familiar with Post Haste, this is similar, but it takes it to the next level by integrating directly with DaVinci Resolve. And for everyone that's purchased the Spark Edit Bundle, it just got better with the advanced template features that are built into this application. After a basic overview, I'm gonna show you some of these advanced features and how I'm personally using them in my setup to help me edit faster. Okay, here's how it all works. It's simple and easy to get started. You just need to set up a folder with all your media files, project files, and any bins that you wanna auto created inside of Resolve. Okay, let's set up everything from scratch. Um, just takes a couple of minutes. So we're gonna, um, this is the uh, main SparkFX screen. We're gonna hit system tools and project templates. And you'll see that we don't have any templates set up. So this is where you're gonna be when you get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is hit this settings button, or you can click template settings down here, and you'll see that there's a templates folder, and this is where all the, uh, the templates are. This is where our main template files are. And then there's a projects folder. So all of the template files are gonna get copied into the project folder for each new project that we create. So let's go ahead and select a template folder. And now let's select the projects folder. The next step is to set up the folder path and project name fields. And these are fields, this is, these are data entry fields that you can use to customize and set your project name. So you, okay, so you'll see that I have a year, a video category, an index, and then a video name. And these are gonna be used to set up the project name and path for our video. So we're gonna go ahead and click save settings. All right, so the next step is actually to create our template. So you, down here, you'll see that we have a templates folder. We're gonna go ahead and click open on that. Inside of this folder, we don't have any templates. So let's go ahead and create our first template. So all we need to do is just set up the folder structure for our template and add our files. I'm gonna do this super quick and then show you what I did. So we're gonna create the, uh, the template name. We're gonna call it sample, sample template. So let's go into that and set up our files. So we have an exports folder. That's gonna be for our, um, our renders. We have a projects folder. This is where we're gonna create. This is where we're gonna create project files, maybe some uh, templates, notes, um, any kind of scripts or things like that. They can go in here. Um, everybody has their own structure. So this is just gonna be real generic, but you can set it up however you want and then media.bins. So anything that's inside media.bins is gonna be auto imported into Resolve. And you can just drop files in there and they're gonna be imported every time you create your project. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna create a folder called images. And we'll create another one called footage. This is just sample. Okay, just for demo purposes, I've added a little bit of footage into the footage folder and some images into the image folder. And the great thing about this is as you wanna add files into your template, these are files that maybe you use all the time, images, some assets, you just drop them into this folder and they're ready to go for your next project. Okay, let's go back to the Spark templates and we're gonna hit refresh to see if it can find that template folder. And there it goes, it has sample template. Okay, there's one more step that we need to do is that we need to set the default DaVinci Resolve project for this template. So you'll see that when we hit new project and hit create project, it's gonna tell us that it couldn't find a template file in this folder. We need to close this out and we're gonna go back here and click open folder. And you'll see that there's a spark.sys folder. And if this folder's not there, you can create it. It's just called spark.sys. And this is where the default DaVinci Resolve project comes in. So now all you need to do is edit a project. You can create timelines. You see I have some default timelines here. Um, these could be in different aspect ratios. You could add it, different assets and media, whatever you want for your default project, set it up and then hit DaVinci Resolve, go to the file menu and hit export project. Export the project, we're gonna hit our template folder, go to spark.sys, and you can just call this whatever you want. So we're gonna call it um, start template. Um, can be anything and save it. So now you see when we take a look at our Spark template folder, we have this uh, DaVinci Resolve project file. And this is what it's gonna use. It's gonna create the project and then import everything based off of that. Okay, so now we're gonna hit new project. And this just defaulted because I've been doing some testing, but uh, there's a year and we're gonna put the year. I'm gonna put um, W Justice for my William Justice videos. And we're gonna say this is index one and we're gonna call it um, template demo. So you see here what we have is we have a, this is the path of this project. And you can change this by changing these folders here. So right, if we wanted the W Justice to actually be a separate folder, we'd click and set that to be folder. And you'll see that we have a 2025, a W Justice folder. And then this would be our video name. What Spark Templates does is it takes this and creates a consistent organized project name for us. So we have a project folder. And along with that, we have our resolve project name. I'm gonna go ahead and put this back as path. So this is gonna be the project folder. Down below, we have options to set up the project. We can create the resolve project and then also import media. And then there's a cloud project option. I'll talk about that in just a bit. Um, now to get started, all we have to do is click create project, review the information. 
and it's going to do all the work for us and import all the files and get us set up. And the great thing about this is uh, over time, as we have new files and want to change it, we just change that folder structure and our projects are going to be started just the way we want. And there we go. We have a new project created with our default media with the project name and we're ready to start editing with our timelines. With the advanced features in the Spark Edit bundle, you get multiple template folders, you get reference folders, you can auto import DaVinci Resolve bins, um, set export folders, create cloud projects, and a lot more. I'm gonna show you demos of that in just a bit when I talk about how I'm using it and my personal setup. Go to sparkfxstudio.com to download SparkFX and get started with the base app. If you're not familiar with SparkFX, it is the ultimate add-on tool for DaVinci Resolve with plugins, effects, and a lot more. Spark Templates is included in the Edit Bundle package. With the bundle, you get um, alignment, spell check, timeline search tools, automatic media insert, Spark Templates, and a lot more. Go to sparkfxstudio.com and click on the Edit Bundle to see all the features and options. The, uh, the Edit Bundle is currently on sale this week, and we're going to have a special. We're also going to be including the Spark Color Labs, which is a tool that helps you kind of create colors. Other SparkFX products include some, a lot of plugins and effects. We have text tools. We have audio tools that include a media browser and automatic media insert. We have some smart content tools, as well as some Spark, uh, Spark elements that help you insert graphics and elements into your um, timelines. If you want everything, consider the Spark One subscription. It's your all access pass to everything that SparkFX has to offer. And it also helps support the project. All right, I wanted to quickly show you how I'm using the Spark Templates feature to help me edit faster. Um, and this is with some of the advanced features. I want to kind of demonstrate what you can do um, if you have the Spark Edit Bundle upgrade. Um, so we're going to go into here. And right here in Templates folder, Template Folders, I'm going to hit um, Select Templates. So with the upgrade, you actually can have multiple um, locations for all your templates as well as multiple templates. So I'm going to choose this one right here and you should refresh. Um, this is a YouTube template I have as well as a YouTube shorts template. Um, we're going to work with the standard YouTube template. Let's go into settings and you'll see that we have a auto date field as well as we're going to set this one to an auto number and we're going to call it index. So this is going to be the year and month. You can actually have a complete date. Let's see. Month. Um, you can have a, the, the date as well, but I'm going to have year, month, and auto index and just type in a video name. So it's going to pop. So each time I create a new project, it's going to auto populate this information, which is really helpful for me, um, keeping, every, keeping everything organized. So we're going to save settings. Um, actually, let's uh, go ahead and hit new project and you'll see that auto populated 2025 May. And this is going to be the 11th video. I've created some test videos in there. So it picked up that and auto and auto incremented the index. And then this is going to be a, the name for our video. So let's take a look at the template options that are built in that are going to help us out. So we're going to hit open folder. So here's our, uh, here's my template folder. And this is what I'm using as a base. The, this is going to get me started. I'm kind of starting from scratch. So this is going to be really fresh. I'm going to be adding to this over time um, as I find things that I want. So the first thing you'll notice here is there's a project folder. And we take a look inside of that. Um, there's a thumbnail file. I'm going to be putting more in here, but that's my standard. YouTube thumbnail. So it's going to auto create, populate that and copy it into each new project. So I have a great starting point for my thumbnails. The export folder, um, because it's with a dot export, that's a special file with the Spark templates. When we create a project, it's going to automatically set this up as our export folder. So when we render media, it's going to automatically be sent to this folder, which is a big help. Let's go into the media bins. So any, remember anything in dot bins, that's what's going to be imported into Resolve. So you'll see that I have a elements, um, footage and images. So we're going to go into footage. Um, there's camera footage, um, screen capture, images um, for screenshots. So it's, it's going to be my basic structure. Okay, so anything that's in footage or images is going to get copied to the project folder. So it's going to be duplicated and copied over. There may be times where you don't want files duplicated. Maybe you only want them in one place so that you don't have them copied all over your hard drive. That's what this .ref is for. So this thing, uh, this folder is called elements.ref. It could be called images.ref or really anything. Anything inside this folder is going to be referenced or linked from this template folder as opposed to being copied, which is going to save a lot of disk space and keep all the files in one place. Let's go in here. And just for mine, you'll see that I have a Resolve logo, an end screen, and a subscribe um, animation. The other thing that's in here that's really important is that there's these files, this comps and spark. And you'll see this is a, this is actually a .drb file, which is a DaVinci Resolve bin file. So you can just drop these bin files in here. Each of these bin files have a lot of components, media, other stuff in them. We can just drop this bin file in here and it's going to create it and automatically set it up in our project, which is a really great for having pre-built components that are ready to go. Now, obviously, you could use the power bins to do this, but the nice thing about this is that you can just drop these in there, and it's really easy to change it over time. You can copy this and move it around between projects. Um, really easy to organize. Those are the, uh, the advanced options. So let's close out of here, and we're going to go ahead and create a new project for our YouTube, auto-populated, and we're going to call it um, template video call it template video and we're going to hit uh okay and also this is where you could if it's a cloud project you can hit the cloud option 
and it's going to set up some of the cloud options for you for proxy media, collaboration, things like that, and get the cloud project all ready to go. So we're just going to do the basics with setting up the project folder and importing our media. Let's go ahead and hit Create Project. Review the information, and it's going to copy the files and set everything up for us. It's created the project folders. It's created the resolve project. You can see with the project name up right up there. And next we're just gonna create bins and import the existing media that's already in our template. Okay, so you see we, it set this all up here. It set up the elements and this is a comps and spark. These were two DaVinci Resolve bins that I added into the template. And you'll see elements here. This is a, an in screen that I, I use and this is a subscribe button. The other thing that's really nice that I'm kind of working on, there's still a few little um, things with it, is when you go to um, render, you'll see that it automatically sets up the file name and the export location to be the export folder for our template. All right, I hope you find this interesting and want to give it a try. It's a free download to try it with the basic stuff. And if you're really interested and you think it's helpful, um, consider upgrading to the Spark Edit bundle or any one of our other products to kind of help you edit faster and more efficiently. Okay, this is important. SparkFX is driven by you. This tool is designed to help you and all video editors edit faster and more efficiently by optimizing workflow and automating complex processes. Our goal is to save you time and help you create better videos. I want to give a special thanks to Kai. He's a video editor that's been helping me out a little bit with this part of the, the templates feature. Um, he's been doing some testing, providing some really great feedback. Um, I got some information for him down below. Just kind of wanted to give him a quick shout out because he was really helpful in helping me um, get this uh, new product added into SparkFX. So if you're interested, uh, go check him out. Links are down below. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.